So, okay. Um, and I have, this is what I'm doing, so that's my example. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to do this on a little piece of silk. So you call it low immersion because it's a little bit little, there? Mm -hmm. oh, okay. Low immersion means not very much water, so that you can't move, really move it around. The more you move it around, the more even in color it's going to be. Oh, okay. And you want as much pattern as possible. So I'm going to take a little container, and I am going to pour about a half inch of water in here. Your hand up gives you an exact amount of water. I work with, with Robin Haler, and, and we, we are like the best in partners, but the antithesis of each other when it comes to doing this kind of work, because I'm like, you know, do about an eighth of a cup, you know, of the stock solution, and a half an inch of water, that should be fine, you know, and she's like, okay, now, how, you know, how much should we tell them to put in there? <laughs> <laughs> and so, and the students laugh, because they know that we're different like well, that. Well, it's like mm -hmm. cooking, some people just, right, no recipe is <coughs> some measure. Right. So, I have my water, and now I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to put some salt in here. about a half a tablespoon of salt into this. Oh, into, into the water. Sorry, it doesn't matter. It's all going to go in the same place, but into the water. So we will mix that. Just regular food salt? Yeah, mm -hmm. but not with the iodine in it. Take that, make sure that it's un-iodized. Oh, un-iodized. Yeah. Yeah, they're for bigger. Mm -hmm. 16 ounces of, and it says one to two tablespoons of salt. You know what? That's why I'm asking. Ah! <laughs> it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. <laughs> Rachel Wright, make sure it's in. And in a pinch, if you didn't have the salt, the process would still work. It's just that the salt really, really helps that too, to open up. All right, so I have my water, I have my stock solution, and I have my salt. Now, <coughs> what else am I going to add? Activator. 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 Now, activator is a specific ratio. And the ratio is one teaspoon of activator per cup of liquid being used. And I'll write this on the board for you so that if you're, so you don't have to keep referring back to your handout if you don't want to find it. This is just a very simple one tablespoon of dye to one cup to make a stock solution, one teaspoon of activator per cup that you're using. So you kind of have to estimate. This is a 16 ounce container. So there's probably, it's almost halfway. It's about, you know. Eight ounces. Yeah, about eight ounces. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm going to add a teaspoon of activator. A little bit more is not going to hurt it. So if you err on the side of too much, that's fine because it's not going to sit in this bath for days where it's going to break down the fibers. And believe me, I have done fold and dyes that have sat in the plastic bag batching for weeks. And I take them out and open them and they're fine. The only thing that could happen if you had a lot of soda ash in there, eventually it could break down the fiber. You get holes. Okay. How could you stand in that? <laughs> I forget. <laughs> I, I did that with Rusty one time and I had no fabric. I was just completely disintegrated the fabric. Oh, yeah. mm -hmm. So now I have my piece of fabric. And again, you, it does not have to be a silk fabric. I know that this, because this is silk, it's going to scrunch up pretty small. If you were working with a much larger piece of yardage, then you sort of have to scale everything up. Get a bigger container maybe a little bit more you know, water, still that, that half an inch, but you want to make sure that it's not so tight that it's not going to soak up everything. So you can show me what it is that you're thinking of doing. Work small to begin with so that you get the idea of what this is, and then you can expand on something bigger later on. So, but what can you do with this fabric? There's lots of things that you can do with this fabric. Oh, I have things up. You can rubber band it first if you want to. Or you can fold 
it if you want to and put clips in if you want to do that. You can just very simply put a few knots in it and that's going to give you a pattern on the surface. So you can manipulate this fabric a little bit before you put it into the pot. Okay. Take it if you want. Or you can do what I usually do the first time I do this. Nothing up my sleeve. You know. It's going in. Ta -da. And you don't let it. No. Because wetting allows for more evenness in the dye application. And even is not much more. Okay. I have to say, wear your gloves, girl. Yeah, I know. We have a lot of ice cream sticks on there. <laughs> chopsticks, yeah, chopsticks. Now, you can let that wick up because the more sort of darker areas that you have versus lighter areas that you have, the more patterning you're going to get. Okay. Now it has to batch. You can put a lid on it if you want to. And the most beneficial batching, though sometimes in a class like this we don't have as much time. So um, it's a minimum of an hour best if you wait 24. So I usually say, you know, in the words of the great Oz, go away and come back tomorrow, you know, and to see what you have. But if you, if, if you just can't wait, or, you know, it's Friday afternoon, you know, and you have to, you have to start rinsing some of this stuff out, um, then an hour is fine. And also, if you don't, if you want a lighter color intensity, too, you can also stop the process sooner. But I usually try to wait the, the 24 hours if I can. And sometimes my stuff is in there, like I said, for days. And then I come back. All of the stuff that I have here that I'm to show you, um, it was in there for a long, for a long time. So it's just doing its thing. I'm watching because <coughs> these, sometimes you have to watch the thread that they hem this with. And it doesn't pick up the color so easy. So that would become like that? Yep. <laughs> I like the way she questioned it. <laughs> Sorry, lack of experience. Four colors in that one also. Um, this one, I'm trying to remember. Um, I know there's turquoise. I know there's blue. I know that there's the fuchsia, and I think there's a little bit of black. I did this one a little bit different, a little, little different color combination, and um, so that's just going to sit there. 